Communication Specialist with Horizon Health Network. With me here today is Karen McGraw, Horizon's President and CEO. Welcome, Karen. Thanks very much. Um, today marks Karen's one year anniversary with Horizon, so we're going to chat about her experiences in the past year and her visions for the future. Um, so Karen, what were your first impressions of Horizon? Um, I guess my first impressions were uh, very positive. Um, I got an opportunity early on to visit all our sites, meet with all our staff, our physicians, many of our community leaders. So um, I really felt we had a good, solid organization. Fantastic, great to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned that you were out visiting Horizon mm -hmm. facilities, communities, mayors, and other community leaders. What surprised you the most during those visits? Um, I guess the uh, a couple of things surprised me. The commitment to quality and safety in all our sites was uh, was a very pleasant surprise, um, and almost and also how um, our services were valued uh, by the communities in which they're uh, provided in. So uh, those two things I think surprised me the most. Oh, great! Those are good to hear. Mm -hmm. um, what changes have been implemented since you began, and, and why did you make those changes? So I think one of the things that I heard loud and clear was that uh, we needed to be out and about in communities. Our leadership team needed to be out in communities. We couldn't uh, run an organization this large from Fredericton. Um, so uh, some of the things we did immediately was um, I did go out. I went out. I've gone out twice in the past year to all our uh, sites, met with uh, our staff and physicians, as I said before. In addition, our senior leadership team has held meetings in many of our smaller sites. Um, as well as our larger sites. Um, and we've gotten the board out as well. So the board not only has meetings in our larger communities, but also has had committee meetings in some of our smaller communities. Um, so they were the things that I think I did, um, or I believe should be done uh, immediately when I came. Great, fantastic. And how have staff been involved in any of those changes? So staff has been involved all the way. Um, I really believe in staff consultation. I believe in staff uh, telling me how they see the organization moving forward. So I did an initial meet and greet with all the staff. Um, and then in the fall of 2017, I actually uh, presented to the staff my vision for how Horizon should move forward. Um, and so they have given me uh, lots of commentary about that, both at the time that I did the presentations and also after. Okay. What are the biggest challenges facing Horizon right now? I think a couple of our big challenges are being able to respond appropriately to the community health needs assessments we have done. Um, so offering service in response to those needs, working with community partners. Um, and secondly, working more like um, a total system. So I said we are committed to quality and safety in our sites. We now need to move that commitment to quality horizon wide. Um, so more working more collaboratively and coordinated uh, together to make um, essentially the whole better than the sum of its parts. Okay, good, that's good. Personally, what was your biggest accomplishment over the last year? Um, I think my biggest accomplishment was actually visiting all 109 sites. Um, I think that was extremely important to me, um, and I did it. Um, and so uh, that was my biggest um, accomplishment. Also learning um, about uh, Horizon. Um, and quite frankly, one of the things that was extremely positive was how well I was accepted uh, into the fold. So really feeling that um, I'm a member of the family, the Horizon family. Well, we're certainly happy to have you. Well, thank um, you. One last thing, what do you look forward to working on in your second year with Horizon? So the second year, we're gonna work uh, more substantively, I believe, on um, actually the, the view of One Horizon, uh, making us work more collaboratively and coordinated together. Um, secondly, working differently with our communities. So determining what the best mechanism for our communities uh, is to be able to provide advice to us. Um, so those two things are my personal priorities for 2018-19. Great. Well, we can't wait to get going. We and can't wait to get going. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks.